What? Hmm. Where's your boyfriend? Hmm. Zoe, I'm the car. I'm the car. Zoe. Zoe, I'm the car. Ah, I thought we had a problem, but uh, <laughs> she's still here. <laughs> I thought maybe she ran over to the, the other village. <laughs> Zoe, Nandaka. What the photo, Zoe? It's still uh, a little bit earlier. And Zoe is smelling the javelin, I think, everywhere. She's going crazy. So put her on leash. Because she's not listening. Zoe. Calma, pa, calma. Zoe. One extra dog power going up the hill. Yeah, pull Zoe. Pull. We have action, live action. <laughs> Look at that nose. Zoe, now, the right, the right. Uh. Down the slippery rocky road. This is the time in Portugal when all the uh, roads are flushing away. Uh, now this road wasn't that good to begin with. But uh, yeah, the sand washes away and then the rocks stay on top. And a couple of rocks and you're easily on your back. Especially with a dog tied to your waist. That's pulling like crazy. Really like crazy. So that's about as short as we can go. How's huh, Zoe? The shorter I make it, the better it goes. What human? My nose cannot even touch the ground now. Yes, Zoe. That is the reason. No. Look like now she's doing it on purpose for the video. Stop pulling, Zoe. Now. Ah. You see? We're not hunting Javali today, Zoe. We're going out for a nice and easy morning walk. Yes. Without Joost. Very quiet morning walk. She is still constantly challenging me. Look at that face. Look at that face. Yes, you. Joost showed up also, but um, she's not allowed to play.
Yeah, there she is. Hello. Say good morning, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, good morning. It's cold. It's wet. It still rains occasionally. Um, today should be, however, the last rain tonight. Yes, that will be nice, Zoe. Continue on the roof. Yeah. Yeah, so you can see from the title from the video that we have uh, an issue with the house. I'll get back to you on that later. Uh, yeah, it's just as cold uh, inside as it is outside. So um, I'm sitting outside. Breathe in the fresh air. I uh, do have this uh, small uh, radiator in the house, but I don't want to put it on uh, too much because it costs a lot of energy, I think. <laughs> and uh, I forget to put it off sometimes. So that's not very uh, cost efficient. I did, however, have a nice hot shower in my uh, temporary uh, self-made bathroom. Uh, that was very pleasant. Keeps you warm for a little while. Uh, the hot tub, that's also nice. That would also keep me, uh, keep me warm. Um, yeah, it rained for the last couple of days and uh, there is no water in the water reservoir. Uh, and there is water in everything else that is laying around here, so I don't think it holds much water. Uh, I do want to shop for the parts already. Uh, maybe somewhere in the upcoming week I have the time to uh, clean it out and, uh, and fill it up and see. Uh, See if we need to do the whole inside to get it watertight. <laughs> probably, probably. So I have to do some, uh, some shopping again, Castel Branco. And I'm gonna buy something uh, for the house to put in. Uh, a surprise for you. <laughs> I, I'm not gonna directly put it in, but uh, I'm gonna buy it already. And I hope somewhere in the next week uh, I can put them in also. What would it be? I uh, would take in Tiny Tim, so it's uh, it's big. Also have a lot of laundry again. And of course we need some food. For the both of us, yeah. Also for you. What are you looking at me like that for? No idea what she wants. Maybe she's sensing that I'm going shopping. Or she's understanding very good English at the moment. <laughs> uh, when I get back to the shopping, I'll show you what is the issue uh, with the house. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, this has been uh, for two weeks. I've just been inflating it every time. Uh, maybe we should take it off and uh, put on a spare one and get this one fixed.
good care of Josephine lately. Uh, let's see if we can make it to the gas station. <laughs> Bon appétit So hungry So uh, how do you like my new ears? So I can hear the comments better Four ears Good morning, everybody. So he's making a lot of noise while eating. <laughs> you keep it down. Trying to vlog here. Yeah, so the people know you're here also. So uh, the last thing you, you saw was me uh, buying a door and a window. Uh, let me show you. Yeah. So uh, this is the door, not fully glass. Half glass. And aluminium. Uh, double window. So actually I was looking for the PVC doors because they were a little bit uh, cheaper. Uh, this one was uh, 349 euro. I saw the PVC ones for 219, you saw in the video. But um, the difference with that door is that it's um, 98 centimeters wide and this one is only 80 and the door that is currently in the room uh, next to this one is also 80 centimeters and the PVC one they didn't have with the glass 
And because there are not much windows in, um, in that room, I decided uh, for now to put one in with glass. Um, so yeah, but that was uh, 130 euro more than expected. Um, then I also bought the window. Um, this is a window with, um, with these rolling uh, kind of shutters. Uh, it's also aluminium. It also has a um, double glazed window. And these ones can only like slide uh, left and right. If you have the PVC ones, they can also like tilt open, but these ones, uh, they can't. They are a little bit uh, cheaper. Um, but the problem also with the um, doors and the windows, Porta y Janela, uh, is that the availability in the shops is really low. Uh, you saw me in the video first go to um, to Brico Marche. Uh, they didn't have um, anything from what I wanted. Only the more expensive stuff uh, was left there. Um, yeah, so we're gonna um, try and replace this door and this window. So this door um, is 80 centimeters already, so it only has to uh, increase in the height, 20 centimeters. Um, but yeah, the window is um, a lot bigger. The window, new window I bought is one meter by one meter 15. And then the 15 is the, um, the shutter roll in the top. So this has to be uh, widened and heightened. Um, so that's also a job for uh, somewhere in the next week. Um, because before I want to move into this, I like to have it um, a little bit uh, airtight. Otherwise we're burning wood for nothing. Huh? What is it, Zoe? Ah, uh, yeah, but... Um, ooh. <laughs> Tijolos. Uh, no, but otherwise we would be burning wood for nothing, so... Um, and they do need to be replaced, so I'm gonna... try out my first door and window replacement. Uh, this is, however, the, um, the not-so-thick wall, so I think we're fine. <laughs> You'll see that in one of the upcoming videos. Yeah, so the, um, the cliffhanger of this video. Uh, major problems with the house. Yes, we have a big problem. <laughs> I'm still smiling. I don't know uh, if I'm still smiling uh, when we're going to try to fix this issue. Uh, let me show you. This is not supposed to be wet. There's nothing wrong with this. Mm, it also didn't come through here. But we have water here. So what the freak is happening? Yeah. Um, I've talked about this uh, before in my videos. And uh, yeah, I uh, kind of immediately knew uh, what was going on. Uh, it's not only in the other room, it's also here. You can see this has been uh, wet. Uh, this is also happening uh, in the other part of the house. In my bedroom and in the, um, the guest room I have now. Uh, so it uh, appears to be... Uh, it doesn't appear to be, I already know what it is. <laughs> Probably know what it is. Um, it's only on that side of the building, not on this side. So uh, let me explain. As you uh, may or may not know, um, the street level here is uh, about this high. More than a meter higher than the level here. Uh, we do have um, a sort of a trench, sort of gutter running uh, along the side of the building. And that ends up uh, about here. Um, but as I could see from, uh, for instance, you can still see it a little bit from these wet stones. It doesn't... Um, come through on this level, it comes through on this level, below where the guttering is. So this can mean uh, two things, I think. Uh, the first would be um, that the guttering is leaking, so that the guttering is not watertight, and water is coming through there, and after 
through the wall. Uh, the second possibility is um, that it has nothing to do with the, the trench or the, the gutter in the street, but that uh, the water that comes down like a mountain here and enters the street also travels under the uh, street level and then ends up in the house. Um, because as you can, could see in one of my um, my former videos from a couple of months ago, uh, where I stayed in an Airbnb with my sister, you could see there that um, they made it into a feature in this house. The water was uh, dripping through the walls and they made a drainage uh, at the bottom, so they uh, turned it into a feature. Uh, now I'm not going to turn this into a feature, but I think it's, uh, it's option two, uh, mainly because what did they do here? They cemented up some kind of ridge here, close to the wall. So I think this has been uh, happening in this house for a long time already. And somehow they, um, yeah, they wanted to prevent the water from traveling further into the, um, into the room, I think. And they just cemented up a little uh, ridge. <laughs> but that's not how we do things around here. Uh, well, sometimes we do, but in this case we don't. <laughs> Um, so this, yeah, this is actually a quite a big problem. I'm not gonna fix it right now, although I'm going to be living in this uh, area. And I do not want to get uh, a flooded floor in my living area. Uh, so we need to see how we can temporarily, sorry. So we need to see how we can temporarily fix that there. Because I think this is gonna be uh, like uh, quite a job to get to the bottom of this and to get it fixed. Uh, this is the guttering I was talking about, the trench. Yeah, it's now uh, filled with uh, a little bit of garbage. <laughs> but as you can see from the height here, it doesn't travel uh, all the way down. So what I think is happening is um, probably below here, it's a uh, schist stone. And the schist stone is um, not really solid. It has like, um, it's made in layers and water can easily seep through the layers. Uh, so I think what happens is um, the water drains into the ground here. And then even below this gutter, it comes into the house. But yeah, we can first check if option uh, one works. So uh, clear this all out and then um, seal this off and see if the water is uh, still coming in. Uh, the winter period would be a good time to uh, to try this. If we uh, need to go for option two, um, a possibility would be to um, dig out the trench further until the bottom of the house and then uh, seal it up. We do need to, however, um, keep in mind the stability of the walls of the house. Uh, this is already uh, draining uh, somewhere along here and then goes over there. I think there is something below here also because it sounds sometimes a little bit hollow. So maybe they made a water storage there or something. Um, now this is the place where actually uh, later on the septic tank will go. So uh, this has to be uh, dug out and then we'll find out what's below there. Uh, so yeah, but first, first we continue the roof. And then this winter, this is uh, something uh, we really need to look into. So now that the sun is shining again, I can continue uh, the work on the roof. Uh, this side uh, was almost done. Uh, the other side uh, still uh, needs to get uh, battens and tiles. How do you like my new winter gear? Funny, eh? <laughs> yeah, it's getting colder. But yeah, we have um, a lot of dry days coming. So uh, we're gonna continue to work on the roof. Maybe in the evening I can uh, still continue some of the work uh, inside. I uh, hope to show you uh, more of the roof in the next video. So if you like my video, like my video. <laughs> Forgetting Zoe again. <laughs> if you like this video, uh, like our video. <laughs> uh, if you like all our videos or most of them, maybe uh, take a subscription to the channel. And uh, leave a comment, do something. <laughs>
see you all in the next video. Bye. Thank you for watching another video of the Portugal project. If you want to follow the Portugal project more closely, you can also add it on Facebook. Or add me on my personal account on Facebook or Instagram. See you next time at the Portugal project.